Hi, today I'm using a Windows 8 machine in GP 2013 and we're going to talk about you printing sales order processing documents out of GP. So I have my GP application running so I'm just going to come up here and click in the top corner and drag that uh, application in. Let me go back and do that again. There we go. Drag it in and now we can uh, look at GP. Alright, so I'm in the sales order processing series and we all know that we can open up the sales transaction entry window and pull up a document and print it by clicking on the printer icon right here. We also know that we can pull up a batch and with the batch pulled up we can also choose to print, well, let's do that now, print sales order processing documents right from this spot. And finally, we know there's a third place where we can go in and choose to print sales documents and we can print the sales documents right here. Now, if you're printing sales documents, there is no way you can go back and print batches or documents that are not sequential to each other. To do that, you'd have to put them into a separate batch and print them until that is, we started using the navigation pane. Now, I'm going to open up this right here. So you could see on my navigation pane, let me resize that. You could see sales transactions, uh, sales order transactions, and then there, there are some specific navigation list right here underneath that. I'm going to click on sales order transactions. Now this could take a, t a while to load on your system and the reason why it would take a while is if you click on just the generic one you're going to open every single sales document there is posted and unposted. So what we want to do is narrow down uh, and create specific lists for things that we want to work on. So if I'm interested in having uh, working on my open, which is a phrase we use, which stands for work in GP, or therefore unposted documents in GP, I can create a new navigation list. And to do this, where it says sales transaction entry, I'm going to choose from this drop down. You notice that one's read only. So I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to create it a new save as name or a new list name. And I'm going to call this sales order transactions work. So I know these are unposted transactions and now it'll create the list here. And what I need to do now is tell it what criteria I want it to be because at this point it's still posting all um, post or pulling up all posted and unposted transactions. So what I'm going to do is add a filter. And the filter I'm going to add is where, and you notice I also have a where not. And I'm going to come in and choose um, the status. So let's see, sales document status. No, I want posting status. There it is. So we'll just choose status. And we're going to choose the status. Drop down list is work. And we'll refresh by clicking on this little arrow that will apply the filter. And now it shortens my list up significantly. So I'm just looking at my work objects. So it's not saved right now. We can see that right there. So we'll choose up here and choose to save. Now whenever we open this up and we click on this navigation list, I'm just looking at my work documents. Now if I was someone who just dealt with orders, I might also come in to choose and where the document type is equal to orders, or in this case I'm going to use invoices, and apply that filter. And when that applies, there we go. I should just see my invoices. Now these documents here, if I wanted to print this first one, for example, and this last one, all I have to do is mark on them and I can come up and choose print documents and I can print those two documents one at a time. Now you'll notice at this point it doesn't have the email type so this is just for you printing. And one thing I like to do here is if I have some of my staff members that I want to review invoices before I send them out, I like to come in and do it this way and it'll put them all in one, I use the word template, it puts them all into one word template together. So it's a powerful way to use navigation list and as always a cool way to use Windows 8. Hope this helps.